Hi, I'm Tommy Dickinson with Lincoln Electric. I'm alongside Ivan Grasick, product manager for the brand new Square Wave TIG 200. We've talked about the pulse feature on the Square Wave TIG 200. But let's switch gears and talk about the AC balance feature. Ivan, I was wondering if you could t t take us through and talk about a couple benefits of the AC balance feature. Sure. So um, our next two features are related to AC TIG. And AC TIG is most commonly used when you're TIG welding on aluminum. So you'll notice our machine is currently set to the AC mode. and by having it in that mode, we're able to unlock these two additional settings in your balance and frequency, which we'll cover in, cover in a separate video. Okay. With the AC balance, out of the box, we're set to 75. Okay, now is that a, a number that we always wanna be at, or what's the value to that 75? Sure, so what 75 represents is the percentage electronegative. So when you think about an AC wave, there's a positive portion and a negative portion to that AC wave. Okay. So. 75% means 75% of that wave is on the negative side versus positive side. Okay. So it's a little known fact when you're TIG welding aluminum, aluminum forms an oxide layer that is, has a melting temperature that's three times that of aluminum itself. Okay. And sometimes we need an additional means of cleaning through that, that oxide layer. So when you, in this machine here with our square wave TIG, you can adjust that balance so that when you, you turn it down to let's say 60, you're actually increasing that cleaning action by having a lower AC balance value. So rather than just a brush, you're actually getting in there and cleaning more than a natural brush would. It's a, an additional form of cleaning action, okay. absolutely. And then with balance though, one could set it to a lower value, but also take it to a higher value, which has a completely different benefit. So when you're going upwards to let's say 80% negative or 90% negative, you're actually decreasing that cleaning action, but increasing your penetration. Okay. And that could be beneficial where, let's say you're at the maximum output of the machine, which is 125 amps on 120 volt power, 200 amps on 230 volt power, and you wanna just get some more penetration. Well, by having the AC balance to a higher electronegative value, we're increasing that penetration, which could become beneficial with thicker aluminum material. Okay. Well, I appreciate the insight, Ivan. That was the AC balance feature on the brand new Square Wave TIG 200.